be pink one. It's gonna be mine. Okay. I'll be. I'm gonna just steal it with loads. Pink one. Pink one. Good afternoon, guys. Um, you may have noticed I didn't actually film a video for this Saturday that's just gone. Uh, reasons being, it has been a very interesting week. If any of you live in the uh, London, Kent or Essex area, some parts of it anyway, those that were already in tier three are now moved to tier four. So we've had that to deal with. Um, I also had a, I don't know what I had, but I'm pretty sure it was either kidney stones or a kidney infection. And they didn't actually tell me what it was in the end, but they did tell me that I tested positive for um, certain proteins and blood as well um, in my samples. So I had that to deal with and I was very, very poorly. So I'm really sorry I didn't put a video up for you but I've kind of got a really good plan for this week because obviously now about 18 million people in the UK's Christmases have gone absolutely turned on their head and I'm aware that there's going to be a lot of people that are really struggling out there and I kind of wanted to put my face on the internet and um, try and make this space a really lovely festive one and show you what we're going to be doing over the next few days and I'm going to try and vlog little bits here and there and I'm hoping to put this video up either by Wednesday the 23rd or Thursday the 24th and then there'll be another video hopefully on Saturday as usual at four. So it's definitely been a really interesting time. We have just now realised that we can no longer have a Christmas especially um, when it comes to actually being in other people's houses or having people at our house. Our plan was to uh, go down on the 24th to see my mum, or go up essentially, uh, to Norfolk where she lives and stay at hers all of the way until the 27th, which was what we were allowed to do. Um, here in the UK, we were allowed five days. Whether or not a lot of people agree with that in the first place, that's, it's just, it was what we were allowed to do. So we made the plans around that because my kids actually don't go to school, so they're safe. And my husband hasn't been working for a couple of weeks now because since we were put in tier three, I think that was mid-December, his um, place of work closed down because he's a chef. So he wasn't able to go to work either. So we've pretty much, apart from myself who works in a supermarket, we were pretty much um, a self-isolated family except for me, who was really at risk. Um, so we have now had to change our plans. So instead of going to Norfolk, now we're gonna have to kind of make a lot of different changes. We've got to kind of get food in because we weren't gonna cook this year and we've got to kind of change it around. Um, my thoughts on it all is that I'm quite understanding of it all. I think it's probably a necessary step. Obviously, I think throughout this whole COVID thing, I've always kept um, one eye open to the possibilities of what it may be. Because as I know, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there that could um, could be real. We don't know. Obviously, we don't know. We don't know a lot of what's going on at the moment. And I don't think even the people in power really know uh, what's going on. And they're only doing their best. But um, And I hate this saying, but it, it really is what it is. I can't really make anything change about it i mean i suppose i could break the rules and just go and see her anyway but um we have decided to be quite strict and do as we are told for this for this year and uh stay at home so it will just be me kev and the kids um at christmas this year and i think a part of me is actually quite happy about it i think that i'm gonna be really able to enjoy just being uh, with my family I've been working quite a lot over the last few months and it'd be really nice to just stop and enjoy uh, their company and their time uh, we'll be in our own house with our own comforts uh, we'd be able to cook what we want and eat when we want so instead of having to um, kind of maneuver around family which we never have a problem with anyway we're really flexible um, 
we could just be a, a little bit more relaxed than we would have been if that makes sense yeah it's gonna be a really weird one i'm also i'm i'm kind of thinking that also because we're going to be moving hopefully in the new year dutchwood that um this was a blessing in disguise to maybe enjoy maybe our last christmas at our house so we've got that gift as well so i'm trying to look at these things that for many were devastating and i really understand and feel for all those people especially if you're alone or you know you've not got the support network um now because it's been taken away i really do feel for you i know a few people have broken down in tears and there's been some really upset people around the world and around this country especially in the areas that we're in um that have now lost out on a christmas completely um but I do think that we have to treat this as a gift. We have to really realise that this is what it is. It's meant to be. And we have to really, really force ourselves to enjoy the very different circumstances that are coming our way this year. I mean, we've planned everything out and we've kind of had a little plan on the back burner just in case it did go this way. Because we did have a an inkling mid-December that we could actually get our Christmas taken away. So we, in our minds, have been prepared um so we've got a few things that are um that are planned out so um game wise food wise planning the day making sure that it doesn't feel very odd and very restrictive we're gonna really make a day of it or a whole week of it really to be honest and um hopefully the kids will not not notice but not be mentally affected by the fact that they're not going to see their family either because i think out of everybody it's my kids especially that um sorry i've got my thumb in the way of the camera um it's my kids that are going to be affected especially out of all of us uh, when it comes to not seeing their family they're very very close to their family um and i am as well but i can make those sacrifices that obviously children don't understand um so i've kind of let go of it in my head whereas um them i was more worried about because kids obviously they're very set on on things and it's very difficult to tell tell them when things change so i know that was a very long intro but i just kind of wanted to update you with what's going on and why my videos have been a little bit squiffy and um i'm gonna hope that this video kind of cheers people up that are in the same position or even if you're not in the same position and you you are going to have a very different christmas anyway then this video is for you. We're going to hopefully have a really good time and I'm going to vlog a few things that we're doing over the next couple of days. You would have seen a couple of clips earlier that we did Chris Dingle last night and um, we lit a candle for our cat who we lost this year and the kids kind of had a little bit of a quiet time and some silence for him and, and said things to him or wished him a Merry Christmas and then they blew the candles out which was so lovely. And then this morning they just did some like um, activity sheets and they watched some Maddie Moe. If you don't know who Maddie Moe is and you are either a homeschooling mum or you're going to decide to go homeschooling anytime soon. Maddie Moe is amazing. She's really, really good. And um, they watch her all the time. And uh, yeah, we just had a really nice quiet morning. Everybody's been just so kind and understanding and really generous about the situation we've been put in. Because obviously we could break the rules and drive up there, etc. But... I really didn't want to be the person to put, sorry, I keep putting my finger in the way. I really didn't want to be the person that put people at risk and I didn't want to be the person that was irresponsible. And um, I was quite happy to sacrifice my Christmas so that other people don't get ill and that we don't become a uh, part of the problem as to why uh, it's spreading so much. So yeah, that is a very long intro. I think about eight Two ten minutes. Um, I'll obviously edit this down a bit, but we'll see. <sighs> and we'll just be getting on with our day. So as you um, just saw, I always try and give the kids a haircut either just before like a birthday yeah. um just before christmas so i've just trimmed um Elowen's hair all up and that's done i will do both the boys later on in the week and ozzy i don't cut his hair because it's glorious and i don't want it cut um and now they're just going to be doing their calendar which is to decorate some what are they christmas jumpers yeah. christmas jumper biscuits so that's what they're going to be doing now and uh yeah they'll probably eat them all before you even see it 
Oh wow, that looks really good actually for you. <laughs> you should go work for the biscuiteers. I'll help you with the sprinkles. No. Woo! Go turn the Christmas lights on. Do 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 from our very tiny tiny tree. Unfortunately, as I said in a previous video, I'm pretty sure our Christmas decorations are actually at my mum's because I didn't think that we were gonna need them because I thought we would be there by now, but we're not. So we've had to kind of makeshift um, some of our uh, Christmas decorations. So I'll show you quickly. I'm pretty sure I showed you this before, but this is where we put the snowflakes. Can you stop shouting at each other? This is where we put the snowflakes for their calendar. Admittedly, I've probably forgotten quite a few days um, when it comes to putting them up, but we still do do the calendar. We just always forget to put it on here in the morning, which is just, you know, bad parents we are. And then I've got some snow all on the windows and some snowflakes, which um, I showed you in my uh, activity calendar video. And then here's my tiny tree. We got this one from Wilco's for like £10. And then what we did was we all went to... Oh, I'm pretty sure it was Poundland and yeah. chose one decoration each to um, put on it this year. Yeah. So uh, Kev's is Santa, I am the uh, polar bear, and then Lou is the uh, cupcake, and Harry is the burger, and then Ozzy uh, has the little purple dinosaur because it looks like Barney, and I thought it was really cute. So yeah, so we put all of our trees together, and then we just put some beads on it this time in um, instead of tinsel and then I have my little tree garland which was from uh, Flying Tiger which I actually really love I think it looks really good and you can really if you look that. after it well you could probably reuse it I really like that. and then I've got some uh, smelly candles on the top and then the kids no, made uh, some stockings the other day as part of one of their calendar Ooh. things as well and this then we have buttons. all these crazy presents from their family yeah. which they are extremely yeah. lucky to have um, so present wise this year I know I didn't show you what we were going to get them purely because I wasn't sure if it was really the right thing to do with what's been going on recently um, but we did do the free gift rule and I don't know if I have mentioned this in a video yet um, so basically what we've done is we got them to write their lists to us to family and to Santa but they only could ask for three things. Now I know this might sound a little bit harsh um, or a little bit too little for like children and a bit difficult to get them to think of only three things. My kids are the kind of kids that would grab one of those, so I get the lighting into a better spot. My kids are the kind of kids that would grab those catalogues and literally put circles around practically everything and whilst i know that's kind of part of the magic of christmas i myself did the argos catalogue many a year um it just gets a bit overwhelming especially when you've got three children and i i know obviously there are people with more children and they still allow their children to circle things in catalogues i understand that that's whichever way you do christmas is completely up to you but for us our children are particularly um how should i put this they're very heavy-handed and they don't particularly care much for their toys or their belongings. They're still not quite understood how to take care of things they really cherish. So this year, what we thought we should do is if we gave them three gifts only um, in terms of what they could ask for. Obviously, if we wanted to personally go over the three gifts for them and we found other things that they could that we thought they might like, then we that's our choice. But we wanted them specifically to only ask for three things each and then obviously hopefully that might get them to um, appreciate and look after those things a lot more when it comes to family they love to spoil them so the kind of free gift thing goes a little bit out the window with that 
but um for us personally they 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 really have to think and take their time over what they're going to pick and it means they're not going to really have an overwhelming amount of things just from us in total in general from what you've just seen probably it's quite overwhelming already um but we are hoping that we've kind of got the main things that they've asked for and we're hoping that we kind of ticked off the main things that they really really wanted um it's also really interesting to see what kids would ask for if they only got three choices because we said um books clothes toys puzzles games everything that, th that they could think of has to come under the three gifts so it can't be like free toys and then loads of clothes or free toys and then this if they wanted three toys then they wouldn't really be getting anything else from any other category because it's what they've asked for so if they wanted to kind of waste their choices i suppose that's the best word i can think of on just toys then that's that's their decision do you know what i mean they've made their own decision on what they personally have wanted now bearing in mind um ozzy hasn't really made any choices this year because he's still so young all he asked for was mickey mouse and um what else did he ask for i'm pretty sure it was just mickey mouse we've got him three things that we really think he will uh, really enjoy and really love um hopefully and they weren't much money at all. He's always the one that comes out the least expensive. And the other two really didn't ask for anything expensive either. The most expensive thing that they asked for um, was from Ellen, and she really wanted a bike. But if you think about it, if you're only getting three gifts per child and a lot of them really weren't expensive, being able to buy a bike this year was actually completely doable. Whereas before, if I was just to let them run wild with a list, of hundreds of things from the catalogue I wouldn't have been able to get it because we are still living within a, a, a tight budget and we are still trying to be a bit conscious about money and not throw hundreds and hundreds of pounds per child so I think in total Aussie came to just over 30 pound um Elwyn was a lot higher and she came to around 170 pound and Harry came to around, I would say around 50 to 70 pounds for him. So I know that's a real big difference in price, but because of the three things they asked for each, it came out that way. So we now t are gonna try and do it per item rather than um, make everybody around 100 pound or everybody around 200 pound. I mean, I try not to go over 100 anyway. So yeah, that's what we've done this year. And then we've just done um, very intentional stockings. So there's really not anything in there that's gonna be like cheap or crappy that's gonna break within a couple of days. I actually wrote a blog post on the free gift rule. So if you really wanted to have a bit more in-depth read and see what they did ask for, then I can link that down below for you and you can have a good old read. Um, but for stockings this year, we've really kept it not particularly minimal i mean there's about 10 things in the stocking each but they're definitely things that they're either going to be able to use they're consumables or they're things to wear that they really really need and then there's one toy in there i'm just whispering because i don't know who's outside my door um, and then there's one toy in each one and they're toys that i know they definitely wanted that they couldn't squeeze onto their list this year wow have you all finished yes yeah. yep yeah. Oh, they look good, don't they? Those two are mine. Which ones? Those two. Oh, I see. And, and those two of them, and that's Dad's posh one. Oh, this posh. is mine. Dad's jumpers from M&S. These are mine. <laughs> Harry's is Primark, and Lulu looks like it's... Drizzle Mark. Lulu looks like it's handmade, which is so special. <laughs> Although I prefer a Primark jumper, to be honest. Way. So we have just had a few rounds of Crash Bandicoot kart racing. Can you calm down? And what we're going to do is we're going to walk down uh, to the park. We're not going to go in the park. We're just going to kind of look around it. But they've um, lit it up this year. They've never done that before. So they've put literally like lights all over the park. I wouldn't say all over actually. I'd say like a few. But it's a lot like nicer than it usually is. They usually don't do anything there. And we're going to walk down now and we're going to try and film some of it for you and have a little walk, get outside, yes, get some fresh air and go look at some Christmas lights and we'll kind of show you around the area. Let's go.
to ever get lights. That's what I'd choose. Kev would have all the bright coloured shit. <laughs> Hmm. But Daddy says you're scrubbing. <laughs> That's because Daddy is gaudy. So the park's actually closed at the moment, but we can still see the lights um, put all throughout it. So I can still show you guys. And um, we've taken a few clips of other houses, obviously trying to be a bit sensitive that they are other people's houses. Um, and obviously the lighting on this uh, video is going to be a little bit rubbish so bear with me because it is literally the sun has gone down but um we will show you the lights from the park right so i've just recorded this whole video um, or the ending to the video that you would have seen and now I have to re-record all of it because my phone went funny and now I've got to start all over again. So hi guys, welcome back. I know I left you at the Christmas light part. Um, it's now the 24th and I'm hoping to end this video today, edit it, upload it and um, get it up for you guys so you can watch it at four o'clock today. I was working the last couple of days, really, really long day shifts. So that's why you didn't really see much from either of those two days, but we're going to continue today and I'm going to show you what's in my husband's stocking. Um, I know I wasn't going to show you the kids particularly, um, but Kev's is really boring and um, I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to end on. And then I can also maybe talk through um, our plans over the next couple of days as well. And um, being now in tier four on a lockdown with our Christmas with family cancelled. I'm not going to say Christmas is cancelled because it's not. And I want people to know that, that it, it just because we can't see family members um, does not mean that Christmas is cancelled. That's not the point of Christmas. Christmas can be anything you want it to be. It's supposed to be a magical time. It's supposed to be a really good time. There are many ways that we can still include our family members and we can still enjoy things, especially if you have a family of your own and you are very lucky that you can stay with them at Christmas and you can have your children around you and your husband or your partner. So that's what we've got. I've got my three children. I've got my husband. We're going to be having a lovely Christmas and we're going to do loads of different things to make it really, really good. We're also going to um, Zoom call my parents because we do a secret Santa. So I'm going to watch mine being opened and they're going to watch me open mine. And hopefully it's still going to be a really amazing Christmas. So as far as stockings go, <laughs> exciting now. It's only a day away, guys. We always get each other stocking. I know sometimes couples don't get each other stockings, but we do because we're still children. Um, my mum still gets me a stocking and I get the kids a stocking. So we all have a stocking to open on Christmas Day because that to me is the magic of Christmas. It's just, oh, it's just all those little silly bits that um, people pick out for you and it just makes it so special. These things that I've got Kev aren't particularly expensive. Um, it's just silly little things and, and cute little things that I know he either needs or wants or I think he might like. But obviously stockings have to have edibles in them, duh. Um, he's got one of these, they are his favourites. I'm pretty sure they still are, if they're not, sorry. Um, and he's got a big box of those. And then he's got some of these, which are his favorite sweets. He could probably inhale a bag in about 10 minutes. They're his favorites, so they're going in as well. There are some very bare basic essentials. Um, he's got a pair of socks and um, a pair of pants. I don't know if you really want to see his pants. Um, they are just pants. So yeah, that's what he's got as well. I'm talking of essentials, obviously a a uh, new essential for this year would be a face mask. So I got him a face mask and it has his initial on it. Very cute. Um, I found these in Primark. This was literally the only one and it just was like a beacon calling me over. And I went, oh my God, I have to get it. Um, so it's only power 50. I don't know how good the quality is going to be or whether it will last, but he's got a big, big, big bulky work one that has to have um, filters put in it and then it has to be all washed separately. This is just a kind of all in one that he can maybe wear day to day um it might be a little bit more comfortable as well for him so we've got that as well another few essentials that i always get him although i've forgotten a couple that i usually do but but he's still got these ones is shower gel he burns through this stuff guys he squirts it everywhere and literally half a bottle's gone in in one um use so i've got him some more and it's a pretty big beast of a bottle of shower gel i try and go for more 
natural things for myself but with Kev he just likes the very basic um stuff that helps him smell better <laughs> and then I always get him a deodorant as well and I got him this really nice Mitchum um roll-on one he said he doesn't want to use sprays anymore he would prefer roll-ons so we're getting there but um hopefully the next stage will be um like a more natural one or one that's not in um big bulky plastic but he's got a deodorant as well we always do things like this we always get each other like things that we never ever think to buy ourselves even though we know we need them we never ever get them because we're always like oh mine will last it will last and then it ends up running out and then we never buy it again so um we always do get things like this so if this is a little bit weird then i don't care this is what we do <laughs> he's also got a toothbrush i found this in wilco's and it's actually a bamboo one which i'm really really excited for so i've been using one for about a year now and um, the kids have also got one in their stockings this year and now he will as well. So yes, toothbrush as well. Every stocking needs a toothbrush. Like, what are you doing if you don't put a toothbrush in there? Um, a few other cute things. He's got a uh, winter hat. He doesn't really wear hats, um, but I saw the color of this and I thought he'd really, really love it. So it's his favorite color and it is getting a little bit chillier outside. It's from like the Primark cares range so it's made of like um recycled materials so that's quite cool as well but um i just saw it and loved it because of the color and i know he'll love it because of the color as well and um, he's also got some loungewear because his lounge pajamas things are starting to get a bit um worn out so i got him a loungewear set and that was just again primark so it's got some plaid bottoms and like this really nice what is that called is it called like marl or something it's like textured but it's really nice and it's like nice colors it's very wintry but you don't have to just wear it in christmas time and um, because we don't tend to get like christmas pajamas or christmas themed things because they tend to only be for this season and this season will be over in like 24 hours so um pajamas this last kind of essentially thing is um a hair trimmer I cut everybody's hair in this house and I have like a pair of hairdressing scissors but the boy's hair is really really thick and really really difficult to just cut with hairdressing scissors it takes hours I used to use a beard trimmer to do it and um, which kind of worked but then it broke so I found one of these and it's a wireless one and it's definitely for hair as it says right there and hopefully I can continue to cut his hair way better way quicker and if you don't know my husband he breaks phones pretty much at least once a year if not more he got his fixed um after a really long time of not having it fixed only a couple of months ago and the person that fixed it gave him a case and that case just disintegrated within a few weeks so he's got a new one um i really wanted to get him an otter box but um they're really expensive so we got him this one instead which is a bit more of a step up it's it's pretty sturdy looking to me and it also comes with some glass screen protectors as well so his phone should be protected and it won't break again i also got him a little game kev loves games he's the game person in our house um and i had been looking at this um brand for a couple of weeks before i had actually found it in a charity shop which is a really really good find and it's called sust and it's basically a game of um conversation and questions it says um, have fun finding out things you didn't know about your friends and family talk about things you never talked about before so it's a really good conversation starter and if you know my husband he loves to talk and he also loves to ask very in-depth personal questions um, my son's also the same and my daughter's starting to get like it too so they're all going to really get something out of this and um, it's going to be really really fun they do do different age groups this one is the I'm trying to put it that way this one is the eight plus and you can do two to ten players i'm sure you could probably do more and it's the emotional intelligence one there are i'm pretty sure like four or five different kinds but this was the one i found and it ended up being uh, for the right age as well so i'm really hoping he's gonna love this um yeah you just have to answer for that person basically so you have to kind of guess what that person would choose if they were given that choice So you have to kind of guess what that person would choose if they were given that set of choices so that's going to be really really fun and interesting to play on christmas day and then lastly is a little bit of a funny gift slash maybe for me slash to read together 
and that is a book on van life. If you don't know, the point of my channel, or our channel, sorry, is to move and to find an alternative way of living, whether we stay in this country or we go abroad, whether we live in a van or a yurt or we um, live in a community. Um, we are really interested in not having a house again, but we do want to um, look at other alternatives and we watch a lot of people on YouTube um, I may do like a kind of 2020 favourite so you can kind of see who we watch, what we like, what we've enjoyed this year, etc. If you like that idea, just drop me a like. And I thought this would be really fun. It's actually a really in-depth book and um, I just thought it might spark a little bit of um, joy and get us back to thinking about 2021 and what the possibilities could be. So that's kind of like a little joy inducing book and hopefully he'll really love that as well even if he just laughs at it i know he'll love it so as you can see we don't get each other tons and tons of stuff with stockings it is mainly stuff that is essential and very much needed and i'm hoping that he will do the same for me so i'm going to get wrapping those in a little while and i'm probably going to close this video off here um i've been talking way too long already as it is and this video will be at least half an hour long with all the other clips put into it even though we were in tier four and we've had to unfortunately cancel our christmas when it comes to seeing other people um our christmas is definitely not cancelled completely we are going to really try and enjoy ourselves we've put lots and lots of effort into making sure the kids don't feel any different than they normally would we've bought a few um films off of prime we've watched this week we watched the christmas chronicles 2 yesterday and actually i really enjoyed it um we've done just silly goofy things things that don't cost anything things that only cost a couple of pounds just to really try and make it really really special but i know there's going to be so many of you struggling out there and i understand that not everybody is lucky enough to have their children around them or spouses or partners of any kind um so if you are alone i'm really really do feel for you and i think that out of everybody they are the people that people should really be thinking of so if you do live next to or near somebody that you know is going to be alone at christmas then please please reach out drop a little parcel on their door chuck them over a box of quality street or something i don't know but try your hardest to make them feel special on this day as well in even if it's just a phone call or a skype or something i really think those are the people we should really not be leaving out this year and that really need to know that they have people at christmas time despite being alone in their homes I also encourage all of you to not look at what's happened as a bad thing. This is unfortunately the result of something that nobody could control. And we are all trying to do our best, whether we're in power or we're in not, whether we feel powerless or whether we feel like we're completely out of options, we are not. We have all the power in the world to rise above this issue and work together as people, as communities to get through this and that is the most important part of what 2020 should have taught us is to still and always think about one another and get through it together that is the word of the year it should be togetherness we are here on this earth together we are sharing it we should be enjoying it and sometimes when challenges come across we need to face them we are definitely facing this issue this year with um with our lockdown christmas and the new year is going to be no different no matter which kind of strain comes out what rules come our way me kevin the kids have made a big promise to each other that we are just going to endure it we are going to push through it nothing will stop our dreams nothing will change our plans we are going to be going full steam ahead in 2021 and hopefully hopefully we will all get there together so i really do all wish you a very merry christmas i don't know why i feel like i'm gonna cry but it has been a really amazing amazing platform to get onto this year i am so so grateful and lucky to be able to sit down and talk to many of you and reach many people and hopefully many more and um yeah let's just make this year special let's go out with a bang let's just get drunk and walk naked down the street <laughs> okay not that far yeah let's just really really push through this enjoy it take care of each other enjoy our space 
work hard at pushing through those horrific stories and headlines and things that we have to hear every single day it should only make you stronger it should only light your fire it should only make you want to tear through the skies and be the best person you can be and um, it's definitely given me that this year and I would never have had the confidence to put my face on camera I have um many issues <laughs> I sound like a crazy person um no but I do have issues around um getting on film and I do struggle with certain things I may divulge in next year um I may not but it's really um took me out of my comfort zone but in a really amazing way so i will get to the point and say <laughs> merry christmas guys we all love you and you are all loved and please please do your best to just enjoy it and take the time to enjoy the stillness and the quietness and appreciate the very little things because those are things that you are privileged to have and yeah i don't know what else to say now so yes, I will see you very soon. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs>